still 17 and one. They still have one of the best coaches in the nation. He's worked under Rick Pitino at University of Louisville. He's highly regarded among all coaching circles. Yeah, I heard of him. So, Bellerman, they're going to come at you. You and he's without a starter tonight. Jesse Kempson is out. So, insert Devin Dixon. Devin is big, just like Jesse. He has to spread the floor, but he's going to be big. He's going to be down there. He's going to be a bruiser. So, it's going to be good for the Hounds. They just need to play at their own game. They need to limit turnovers, second chance points. They just need to control the game the best they can, stay with it, capitalize on free throws, and open shots when they get them. This is going to be a clash of styles tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. The Greyhounds average 80.5 points a game. The Knights, they only give up 61. Greyhounds are going to want to get big. They're going to want to play in the paint. They've got the size to do it against a relatively small Bellarmine team. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly how all that plays out. And as you said, the Knights, number five in the country. They started off number two. They've got one loss. It's a big opportunity for the Greyhounds. A lot of points in the table at stake with this game. Trevor Lakes getting the start tonight. He's been a consistent outside shooter for this team. He's done a great job creating open looks and then finishing them off. But as you said, they're going to be without Jesse Kempson, which means we're going to see a lot more Devin Dixon. Dixon was starting a lot more last semester. Isn't getting as much, isn't getting as many minutes here uh, as the second semester gets underway. What are your thoughts on his role tonight? What's he going to have to do specifically to fill Kempson's role? He's just going to have to play in his game. He's going to have to let it come to him, not get in foul trouble, don't turn the ball over. Don't try to force anything. They're going to try to force him into turnovers. So as long as he plays within his game, he plays smart, he should, him and Hounds should be fine. As long as they can control control their game, play the best that they can, don't get don't get frightened about playing the number five team in the nation. You just go out there, you play your game, and just let the game come to you, and they should be all right. Dixon started 13 games for this team. So he's seen plenty of minutes. Um, usually his time gets cut short by foul trouble. It's something we saw in the last game. So we're going to have to see... And he's going to be able to stay on the floor. Um, some key subs tonight. Jabri Bon Flournoy is going to probably see a lot of minutes. C.J. Hardaway sees a lot of minutes. Martel Miller. The big guy inside, Alex Etherington, 6'5", senior. He may have to play a little bit more in the post than he's, more, than he's comfortable with just in reserve tonight because of Kempson's injury. So we'll have to see how many minutes Dixon can handle on the floor without getting in foul trouble. Hunters meeting. Bellerman, UND. Tip off. Here we go. We have the tip. It's won by the Knights. And we're away. Starting tonight for Bellerman, Alex Cook, Brent Bach, Jarrett Coles, Javarski Corbett, and Adam, uh, Adam Eberhard. Excuse me, Adam Eberhard. This is Bach, Corbett, Eberhard going to drive. Backs down, fades away, six-footer, gets the roll over Tay Hall. Hall not really known as a defensive specialist, more of an outside shooter guy. He's been playing really well in recent days. Is Dixon getting the start tonight? Backs down, goes up, gets it blocked. That's good defense there by Alex Cook. Now coming the other way are the Knights. Knights have their eyes set on the national championship. Hounds right now just looking to qualify for tournaments. The three ball, it's good. Eberhard's got five sophomore from Evansville, Indiana. You got a 6'8 guy that can jump, step outside and shoot like that. It's a pretty good asset to have on your team. That's he's going to have to use, State Hall's going to have to jump out there. He's only 6'6, six, six, but he can still jump out there and help defend that. A.J. Lott, six foot senior for Westfield, Indiana, buries the three, and it's two, well, it's a two point game now. 18.42 to go in the first. Javarski Corbett. And Coles back to Corbett for three. No good off the glass. But the rebound underneath picked up by Eberhard. We're going to get a whistle, and it's going to go against the Knights. See a six-foot A.J. Lott getting in there, fighting for a rebound with that 6'8", Eberhard. Really good to see the hustle and the teamwork right there. I don't know if you're going to see anybody on the floor tonight who has as much hustle per pound as A.J. Lawton. Loves to get to the rim. He's going to cause trouble in the paint despite only being six feet tall. He's so quick. He's... The closest thing that the Hounds have to, uh, frankly, like Martha Burst for the women's team. He just loves to get into the paint, steps out, defends on the perimeter, does a lot of things well for this team. Maybe not to that extent for this team, but he does a lot of things extremely well. That's a foul going to be on Tate Hall. 
make his first. First on the Greyhounds. This is Brent Bach moving to his left. Gives the ball to Jarrett Coles now in the corner to Corbett. Probably the biggest crowd we've had at least this semester. Pretty nice audience here for this one tonight. The drive, Coles, layup, gets it to go. That's his first bucket of the game. Here you, Indy. You'd like to see Devin Dixon try to step in the way there, try to make him work a little bit harder for the shot. You might not block it, but at least make him earn it a little bit harder. Eric Davidson. This is Lawton. Trevor Lakes. Now on the near side, it's Hall in the corner. Back to Lakes. Moves to his right. Swing into the corner, Lawton drives the baseline. Nice feed underneath, no look. Pass to Tate Hall, who's wide open for the easy layup. That's a nice play by Lawton. That was a nice cut there by Tate Hall to get to the lower block to make himself available for A.J. Lawson. That's a good kick into the corner. And the three ball from Brett Bach is good. The senior makes it 10-5. The Knights have shown a willingness to run. They're willing to move the ball around, get shots off quickly. They're not trying to play in the half court offensively. They're just trying to get things going. That ball fed down low. It's going to be picked off by Alex Cook. I'd like to see Dixon try to step up and get work his way to the ball a little bit more instead of just standing there and the defender beat him to it. Mid-range jumper for Bach is good. Bach's got five. Knights have 12. They lead by seven. Stan Gerard wants a timeout. And what he really wants seems to be the word with the official. A.J. Lawton averages about 15 a game. Eric Davidson about 14. There's a lot of different scorers on this team. A lot of guys who can make you pay if you leave them open. Here comes Lawton. Going to drive. Fumbles the ball away, but it's picked up by Roderick Davis, who just checked into the game. Kick back to Hall for three. Knocks it down. Roderick Davis. That was another nice play by Tate Hall to get himself open and work towards the ball to help out his teammate. And Roderick Davis, he's not a guy we talked about in the open, but he's going to see a lot more minutes tonight, too. He's a 6'9 senior. He's going to be he's gonna be seeing a lot of minutes in, uh, in relief of Devin Dixon. And with Davis, you get a guy who's a little bit quicker on his feet. He's, he's still he's fairly big. He's still just going to be a little bit quicker on his feet to help on weak side defense for the Hounds. The ball loose, but it's picked up by Jarrett Coles, who launches a three. No good. That rebound is swatted back to the guard. Brent Bach picks it up. It's going to be a new possession for the Knights. Ball fed down low. Ben Wire, who just checked into the game. Backing down on Lakes. Goes up. Layup no good, but he walked. It's a nice play by Davis there to slide over. Help his teammate as the defender's backing down. That's going to take us to the other 16. 12-8. Knights in the lead. 15-33 to go. They are in the lead. Coming out of the timeout on the floor for the Greyhounds. It's going to be Lawton, Hall, Roderick Davis, Eric Davidson, and Alex Etherington. Davis moves to his left, hands off to Lawton. Moving to his right, gives a little push off there, gives to Hall for three. No good off the front rim. Rebound Brent Bach. Bach throws it ahead to Corbett. Nice little one-two for Corbett. With Adam Eberhard, and he gets the layup to drop. Junior forward from Tampa. Davis, cross court. Lawton in the corner. Back to Etherington. He's going to try to put it on the floor. We're going to get a whistle. It's going to be on Bellerman. And now some subs are coming in for both teams. Alex Cook, CJ Fleming. And Parker Chitty. Check in for the Knights. CJ Hardaway enters the game for Tate Hall. On the Greyhounds side. Inbound from the baseline. Davis. Lawton in the corner. Spins away. Gives the ball to Davidson. Swinging around the perimeter. Alex Etherington back to Davidson. Etherington in the corner. Pump fakes. Moves to his left. Davidson moves to his right. Five to shoot. Lawton pulls with three. No good off the front rim. Uncontested rebound for Alex Cook.
Daniel Ramser in the game for the first time. Now Ben Weyer. Parker Chitty is a deep Knights team. They've already gone 10 deep. They've only playing six minutes. The drive, the feed. And the layup is good by Alex Cook. You watch this Bellarmine offense. They are always moving. Whether they be going to set a screen, they be going to cut. They're always moving around. There was on that sequence right there, all five guys were moving if they didn't have the ball. A.J. Lawton. Davis. Now going to be knocked up in the air and saved, but back into the arms of the Greyhounds is Lawton. Back to Davidson for three. Catch. Leave that guy open. He's going to make you pay. Eric Davidson, one of the better shooters on this team, shoots 46% from downtown. One of three guys that hits over 40% of his three-point field goals on a team that shoots 42.7% from outside. It's really a big part of this team's identity, and one of the reasons that it's hard to, it's hard to shake them is because they get down by 10 a couple possessions later. It's a four-point game. Yeah. Yeah. Evan Dixon going to check back into the game, replaces Davis. So it's Hardaway, Lawton, Davis, Etherington, and Davidson. Ramser kicks it back. This is Wire who tries to drive. Dixon slams the door. Six to shoot, long three. In and out, no good, but a rebound for Wire. Kicked all the way back out for Ramser again, who's going to drive. Doesn't get the layup to go. Rebound, Etherington, and a foul on Bellerman. It's going to be the first on Alex Cook. Bound to Hardaway. Knights up five, about 13 minutes to go in the first. Davidson at the free throw line, being defended. Etherington hands the ball to Hall. Three ball Davidson, and a little off balance there, but he gets it to go, and it's a two-point game. Not the cleanest looking three-point attempt, but the senior from Fishers, Indiana. We're struggling a little bit early last week. It's good to see Davidson come out here with some confidence and start shooting well. Three ball on the other end is no good. It was Parker Chitty on the attempt. Rebound Greyhounds. Davidson just going to pull. Knocks Funny. it down. Eric Davidson, he's feeling it. He thinks he can hit anything right now, and he's got nine to prove it. It'll be a long night for Scott Davenport if Eric Davidson keeps getting open looks like that. Three ball on the other end for Weyer is good. Bellerman respond. They lead by two once again. 1917. Plenty of points to go around in the early goings here. Devin Dixon, top of the key, over to Etherington. Davidson, now being guarded closely by C.J. Fleming. Dixon in the post. Going to try to drive on Weyer. He's underneath. Layup is no good. He's going to the free throw line. Nice job there by Devin Dixon to back his defender down, get, get good position, and be able to get a good shot with the foul. Second foul on Alex Cook. Third foul on Knights. And we've reached the under 12. It's not happy with his team. Subbed in four new players. He was not happy at the team hustling back on defense. First free throw from Dixon is good. Dixon a 61% free throw shooter on a team that shoots about 74% as a team. Knocks down the second. We're tied at 19. Dixon, a transfer from Saginaw Valley, scores his first points of the game. This is Bach in the corner. Corbett for three. No good off the back rim. Rebound coming the other way is Davidson. The Knights keep an eye on Davidson. They don't want him to try another heat check. Dixon, cross court. Etherington moves to his left. Pulls up for a long two. Missed that one pretty badly, but Dixon gets the board and the putback. That was a good job by Dixon to stay on that side of the lane to get the rebound and go up for another shot. Good extra possession there for the Hounds. 
21-19. Hounds lead this one. The drive down the baseline. Kicked out to Corbett. Three ball. Eberhard, no good. And that rebound is just going to go out. As A.J. Lawton will re-enter the game. Davidson checks out. A couple of pretty established coaches. Stan Gerard in his 10th season. Scott Davenport in his 13th. This guy's been around for a little while. Coached against each other for a little while. This is Lawton moving to his left. Back to Tate Hall, who just checked back into the game. In the corner, Etherington, the drive, layup, no good. He's going to the free throw line, though. Now Trevor Lake's about to check back into the game. No, he's not going to the free throw line. They called it on Etherington. So That's the second time Bellarmine players slid him down low while Unity players driving in, be able to take a charge. Nice help side defense. Really, cute, really good communication on defensive end for the night so far. 21-19, Hounds in the lead. Trevor Lakes just checked into the game, replacing Etherington. Bach to Ware. Now to Jarrett Coles. Top of the key, 14 to shoot. Eberhard moves to his left. The drive, kick into the corner. Nice job by Bach to free himself, but he misses the shot. We're going to get a whistle. It's going to be over the back. First foul on Weyer. Fourth foul on the Knights. 9.53 to go. Inbound, here comes A.J. Lawton. Crosses the timeline. Picks up a screen. Tries to feed it down low. Hall's going to go up, but he's going to travel first. And that's going to be a turnover. A little sloppy last couple of possessions. Knight's not wasting any time and getting right back into it. Eberhard. Give it back to Coles, who drives. Swings it into the corner. Corbett, three. In and out. Rebound, Dixon. Here come the Greyhounds. C.J. Hardaway. The drive, the kick. Lawton thought about it. Tries to kick it out to Dixon instead, but the ball is going to go out. Would have liked to see you and try to reset the offense back there. They didn't have numbers going in transition. But nice to just slow it down and try to set up a half-court offense right there. You can see that that's what Stan Gerard's telling his guys right now. Slow the game down. You don't have to rush it if you don't. It's not there. Yeah, there's no reason to rush on that offensive series when you're going into particularly the defense when they have more defenders out there. Daniel Ramser kicks it into the corner for Corbett. Now Alex Cook going to try to drive. Excuse me, that's Eberhard. Swings it into the corner. Brent Bach moves to his right. He's going to try to drive over Lawton. And Lawton stood his ground and picked up the charge. He was nudging. He was lowering his shoulder the entire drive. A.J. Lawton finally got the call right there. It was good defense there by Lawton. Way to recognize what Bach was doing there. He was lowering his shoulder. He was driving. Good read there by Lawton. Way to stand his ground and pick up the charge, get the turnover. Lakes pulls for a long two. They think he got hit in the air as that ball was well wide of its target. Hasn't been a point scored in this game for the past couple of minutes. We got a whistle. Uh, Davis coming back in for the Hounds. Devin Dixon. It's a nice little breather right here. Trevor Lake's going to be called for the foul. That's going to be an offensive Moving foul screen. for a moving screen on Alex Eberhard. Yep. 6'8 sophomore. Picks up his first foul. Now the Hounds are going to be in the bonus for the rest of the half. You can kind of tell where 
Everhart and Tate Hall have been going at it so far early this game. Finally got a moving screen call right there. Lawton goes to his right. Steps back, wants three. Doesn't get it to go, but nice little put back there by Trevor Lakes. Way to get above the rim. Wait for the ball to drop out of the cylinder. Time does jump perfectly and just yeah. puts it back at the right no hand. One, no one from Bellerman went to go box him out, so he just went right to the bucket, got a nice little roll. Time to jump perfectly. Perfect little lay-in right there. On the other end, we got a whistle. Left here, 7-52 to go in the first. It's 23-19 Indianapolis leading the visiting Bellerman Knights, who are ranked number five in the country. So far, so good for the Hounds, but as I've said, we've got a lot of basketball ahead of us. Jarrett Coles on the ball, 15 to shoot, moves to his right. Kicks all the way back, Eberhard. Ball gets knocked away by Hardaway. And Jarrett Coles cannot recover it. Goes out over the sideline. Good hustle there by C.J. Hardaway, Jr. Didn't get the steal, but then he forced the defender to the sideline, stepped out. Excellent hustle play. One of those plays that doesn't show up on the stat sheet. But it means quite a bit because it's a free possession for the Greyhounds to see what they can do with it. Hall. Etherington. Thought about driving, instead decides to take the step back, shoots no good from the baseline. Bellerman in possession. Jarrett Coles. Picks up his dribble, throws over the top to Ramser, turnaround jumper from the post, no good. Lawton over the timeline, seven to go, first half. It's a nice little step there by Davidson, and from the free throw line he knocks it down. He's scary. He gets any space at all, you feel like he's going to make his shot. Yeah, and it's nice to see him even when getting space inside. If he can, if he can drive, get him a little bit of space, he can still make you make you pay for giving him a little bit of room. Even four for four, three for three from downtown. Three pointer on the other end is airballed by Daniel Ramser, and the rebound is picked up by Davis, who then throws it away. Coles with the steal. He's going to try to drive. Layup is good. Some sloppy ball handling by the Hounds turns into three points for the Knights. You can't be giving away points to a team that doesn't give up too many. The drive by Lawton is blocked at the point of attack, and here come the Knights with numbers up. They're going to slow it down. Eberhard from the top of the key is going to drive. Kicks back. Open look at three, and it's good. That's just shooting practice for Jarrett Coles. That was a nice kick out there by Bellerman. Faked it. Took the defender off the guy on the wing, made it look like he's going to kick it out to the corner. Got to stand right there on the wing, open three. Excellent play there by Bellerman. Davis, Etherington, now Tate Hall. Moves to his left, step back, free throw line. Does not get the roll off the back rim. Instead, here come the Knights at the Daniel Rasmer. Rebound, and it's not going to matter because we're going to have a turnover. Offensive foul on the Knights. Uncharacteristically sloppy basketball for the Knights. Some unforced errors. A few offensive fouls. Scott Davenport going back to his bench here, bringing in three new ones for the Knights. Meanwhile, for the Hounds, Devin Dixon checks back into the game for Rod Davis. San Gerard giving his big men. Breathers when they need it to help try to keep them fresh. Dixon tries to drive, spins, layup. That's nice. That is exactly what you want the big man to do right there. Dixon showing he can even use his left hand high up off the glass. Be a nice, be a nice little wrinkle to the UNI add to their game here going on forward. This is Ware. They're going to swing it around the perimeter. CJ Fleming. Gives it to Parker Chitty, kicks it into the corner. They somehow keep it in bounds. Eberhard swings into the corner, open three for Chitty. No good. 
Loose ball, rebounded by Etherington. Here come the Hounds. A.J. Vaughn, uncontested. No, he's going to kick it back for Davidson, who doesn't get it to go. I like the decision there by Lawton. He had two guys right behind him. Kick it back out to Eric Davidson, who hasn't missed so far tonight before that one. Mm -hmm. How about that on the other end? No, sir. Devin Dixon sending that one back from where it came. Lawton in the corner. Great feed nice underneath pass Dixon. There, Lawton. That's some good offensive work by the Greyhounds. Good transition Scott basketball. Davenport. But again, the Knights aren't going to give up a ton of opportunities. The Hounds aren't necessarily going to win the rebounding battle. Bellarmine has a team. Again, they only give up 61% or 61 points per game, rather. That's the best mark in all Division II. So it makes sense that the Hounds are going to need to hit when they take those shots. So far, they're doing it, and that's the reason they're in front. Jarrett Coles kicks out to Bach, who shoots and knocks it down. That's a tough shot. As time expired on the clock. On the other end, we got a whistle. As Tate Hall hits the deck. Got a sub coming in. It's CJ Hardaway. Replaces Etherington. Hardaway transfer from St. Joseph's. And Tate Hall on the free throw line knocks down the first. Tate Hall, reigning GLVC, freshman of the year. Already got it. seven points early in this game. Knights trail by five. CJ Fleming throws it over to Corbett. Now Eberhard in the low post. Being defended by Lawton, pulls up for two, knocks it down. Lawton's too focused on not getting the foul. Put a little bit passive on there, just for a little bit. Eberhard made a pay. 31-28, three minutes to go in the first half. Here's Dixon. Hall, bounce pass, Hardaway. He's going to try to take the baseline. He's going to get doubled, swings it to Hall. Davidson. Now Lawton drives from the sideline down the baseline. It's good. And one. Scott Davenport does not understand the call. Davenport is livid. He thought his man was there in time. Took a charge, but instead got called for the block. He is red yelling at the official right now. It's the first on Fleming. Freshman from Cincinnati. Free throw is good. Yeah, I think the second one. Scott Davenport is still over there fleeting his gaze. Can't say I blame him. It's a tough call. Oh, yeah. I can definitely see where he's coming from. They've been making that play all night. Looks like he, it was a very close play. Uh, officials didn't think he got there in time, and that's what they're going to stick with. Bach. Yep. He's, downloaded he's got a mismatch here. He's got to take advantage of it if he wants it. They're going to swing the ball back to the perimeter and drive by Bach, but it's a 30-second violation against the Knights. A great defensive effort there by the Hounds. Six-foot Lawton on 6'8 Everhard. Didn't look like it was going to go well. Everhard just couldn't back him down. AJ forced him to the sideline. He couldn't do anything. He got a whistle, and I think they might have just teed up Davenport. Is that what just happened? Inbound a lot. Moves to his right, picks up a screen from Dixon. 
kicks it over to Hall, who pulls for the long two, no good off the back rim. He got a whistle, it's going the other way. Everybody still trying to piece together what just happened. The referees got the basketball in the Indianapolis hit, uh, end of the court. All right, looks like we're all scoring right now. Meanwhile, I think Davenport is still talking about that block call they got. He might still be. Did he get? Did he get a technical? That's what it looked like, but there uh, wasn't any official announcement. No, they didn't. They didn't give him a technical. But uh, they stopped play for something. He's pressing his luck. They stopped play for something. I'm not sure what it was. It didn't. But they didn't signal any foul, so I'm not sure what the stoppage was for. In any case, Bellerman with the ball now. Three ball, no good off the front rim. Rebound, Davidson. A minute and a half to go the first. Lawton. Taking his time. Gives it to Hall. Hardaway. Crosses over. Going to try to drive. Loses the ball. Take Hall. That worked out right pretty there. well, though. Yeah, no kidding. It almost is like he passed it. It bounced right to Tate Hall, who was there for the easy layup. 36-28, Hounds lead by eight. One minute to go in this first half. Jarrett Coles, cross court. We got a whistle. And it is going to be against the Greyhound. It's going to be the first on Lawton and the seventh on the team. So here comes the one and one for the Knights. Make a couple of changes. Free throw is no good. Rebound. Hall. Lawton will bring it up over the timeline. Indianapolis clearly not in a hurry. Eight-point game. Hall trying to set something up now. 13 to shoot. Lawton, seven to shoot. Crosses over. Going to try to drive. Looks for some help. Kicks back to Hardaway. Not Two to shot shoot. Him. Puts it up. No good off the back rim, but a big rebound by Lawton. Nice rebound. And we're going to have a whistle. On Fleming, it's going to be his second. Now it's 16 seconds to go. Two free throws coming up for Lawton. Troy's hoping when he can get the smallest guy out there on the court. He can go get you a crucial late rebound on the half like that to give the Hounds another possession. Then go out, try to reset the offense and draw a foul. Nice play, nice hustle there by A.J. Lawton. 83% free throw shooter makes the first. Alex Etherington will re-enter the game for the Hounds as Hall checks out. Now Roderick Davis looks like he's going to check in as well. Second free throw is good. He's going to check in for Dixon. Eight points for Lawton. Ten-point game. Sixteen seconds left. Knights looking for a last shot. Jarrett Coles moves to his left, kicks it back. Weyer for three, no good off the back rib. Two seconds to go. That ball's going to bounce out right in front. A little bit of time left on the clock. Two tenths of a second to go. Someone's going to get an inbound, and it's. I thought they might go back and review. That's had a couple of little, couple of tenths left on the clock, but oh, it's not a play out. So that's it. First half's in the way as the Knights inbound the ball. Get things going.
Jarrett Coles. Drives, layup, no good off the back rim, rebound. It's going to be picked up by the Knights. Trevor Lake picks up his third foul early here in the second half. Going to test that Helms bench yet again. Trevor Lake's a consistent scorer for this team. He's been in three straight 20-plus point performances. It's got to be frustrating him not to be out there. Realistic, it's frustrating Stan Gerrard just as much because he wants one of his best scorers out there. That's a nice drive, and the layup is good. For Bet. That there is something that you're going to have to do to get back into this game. They're going to have to drive down into the paint, try to draw fouls. If not, because... Three-point shot wasn't working there in the first, so they're going to have to try something different here in the second. Devin Dixon gets it blocked by Corbett, but gets the ball back and go up again, gets it blocked again. That's a rough possession there for Dixon. And then, then on the other end, the ball gets knocked out of bounds and will stay with the Knights. Good, that's a good hustle play there by AJ. You won't see a lot of players make. They'll usually just try to go to their defender instead of trying to knock the ball out of the way. He drive, buys the team a little more time that way. Corbett kicks it over to Cook in the corner. Back to Coles who tries to drive, throws it into the middle. Cook kicks it back out to Everhard. It's Everhard. And then in the corner, the three from Corbett is no good, but the putback by Alex Cook is. And the Hounds immediately want a timeout. Hounds will inbound from the baseline, leading by six. A.J. Lawton. It's Dixon back to Lawton on the handoff. Lawton wraps around. That door gets shut. And he's swing it around the perimeter once again. This is Etherington. Tries to drive the baseline. He's fouled. And that's what Unity did so well in the first half. They tried to drive the ball inside. They got fouls. They worked their way to the basket. That's what they're going to have to continue to do here to try to get the Knights in foul trouble and really test that Knights' depth. Dixon, Lawton, drive, layup, no good off the front rim. Loose ball, rebound, and here come the Knights. Bach in the wing on the near side. Swing the ball around, Corbett. Eberhardt, Cook. Three ball from Bach is good. Knights have scored seven unanswered to make it a three-point game. Dixon. Layup's no good. It's going to be a foul on Bellarmine. You knew coming out of the half, Scott Davenport wasn't going to let his team fold. He was going to come up with a new game plan. He's going to work with what Unity was giving him there in the first. He was going to make some adjustments, and here they are. They cut the 10-point halftime deficit down to three already here in the second. Dixon made both of his first half free throw attempts. Makes the first of his second. Makes the second. So Dixon has ten points now. And the Hounds lead by five. Three-pointer on the other end is no good from Blair, but we're going to get a whistle on the rebound. corner. 
Corbett, no good. Rebound coming the other way. Tate Hall on the board gives it to Lawton. Back to Etherington. This is Lawton again. Davidson draws the foul, much to the ire of the Bellarmine bench. But he does draw it, and he'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. Davidson led all scorers with 11 in the first half. the first free throw. That's three fouls now on Corbett for Bellarmine. They were using him to really stretch the floor against that UNDD and it was working, but heading to the bench now with three is going to really hurt the way they were attacking that UNDD. Davidson makes both, so a few free throws is made in the seven-point game. Got another whistle. It's going to be on Indianapolis this time. It's going to be on Davis's first. First free throw is good. Six point game. Down the second as well. So Ben Wayers got five. It's a five point game. We got a whistle. It's going to be on the offense. It's going to be the third on Davis. So that's going to cause a bit of a, that's going to cause that uh, that UND bench to have to stretch a little bit. It means we're probably going to see a little more Devin Dixon here. Now we have another whistle. That one's going to be the second on Alex Etherington. So there have been a lot of fouls in the first few minutes here. The second half. Six to shoot. Cross into the corner. It's going to be picked off. That was good help there by Dixon to force that turnover. Hardaway gives to Lawton, layup no good. Dixon gets the board, the putback's no good, but he's going to the free throw line. And we have reached the under 16. We're going to take a quick break and come right back. This is UNDD. Been a lot of fouls in the first few minutes of the second half. Hounds with five, Knights with four now. And on the line, shooting two is Devin Dixon. First free throw is no good off the back rim. Dixon's first free throw miss of the night. He makes the second. He's five for six. And that's the kind of thing that's going to be helpful here down the stretch. If your big man can make his free throws, help you keep this lead. 
Bach moves to his left. Ball gets poked out from behind by Lott. And good work to get that takeaway. Throws over to Etherington. Now Hardaway. The drive, the spin, drives again. Step back, eight-footer, knocks it down. It's a tough look. A nice little hesitation move there by Hardaway to get his defender off balance. Try to get him. Make some room there, and he did, and capitalized on it. A 6'2 junior from Indy. Averages about 7.7 a game. Been a consistent contributor. Lawton gets, excuse me, Hardaway gets the board. Davidson being defended tightly by Parker Chitty. Drives into the lane, feeds underneath to Dixon. Layup is good. Give Davidson a lot of credit right there. He spun his way down in the post. Got Dixon's man off guard just a little bit, try to help out, then give it to Dixon to get it high off the glass. Ten-point game once again. And now the steal on the other end. Here comes Hardaway. Lawton puts the ball on the ground loses it. Now Bellerin with an opportunity. They're going to kick it back. Chitty drives. Free throw line. No good. Loose ball underneath. Dixon. Couldn't quite get to it. Chitty able to kick it out to Fleming. Melbourne's not a team you want to give extra possessions to. They're number five in the country. They've only lost one game. Giving a team like that who plays well together like they do, you don't want to give them too many extra possessions like that. Eberhard kicks it into the corner. He got a whistle. Step on the line. And it's turnover. 14 4 to go. Pounds get the ball back. It's another first turn over there for A.J. Lott. It's the second time he's gotten gotten his guy down down low, got him along the baseline, and kept moving his feet and got him to step out of bounds. It's the kinds of plays that don't show up on the stat sheet, but it means a lot in a game like this. Yes, it does, especially because now the Hounds have rebuilt that lead they had. They're up by 10 once again. This is an opportunity for them to really take over in the driver's seat in this game. Floater, Etherington, excuse me, Davidson, no good. De Devin Dixon tried to get the rebound. He knocked it out of bounds, last touch by Dixon. Looked like the Bellarmine defender might have stepped on the baseline, but the referee thought that it was already out, courtesy of Devin Dixon. 13.42 to go, still a 10-point game. Coles in front of the Bellarmine bench. Gives the ball to Corbett, top of the key, knocks down the three. Corbett's got five. Corbett has three fouls. But Scott Davenport has to roll with him here in the second half, trying to get that lead that back down from 10 to where it was. Etherington tries to drive, gets turned aside. They're going to reset, 10 to shoot. Davidson trying to direct traffic, gives the ball to Hardaway. Hardaway drives, layup. Loose ball underneath. It's going to go out of bounds. It's going to stay here. And the Hounds get a fresh shot clock. Noticeable thing here is the shot clock reset on that. So the Hounds have 29 seconds on the shot clock compared to about two what, what it could have been. Referee's having a conversation. I got the Scott Davenport brought up to the referees. Now they're going to go look at the clock for it. Not sure. Maybe that ball never touched the rim. It might be what they're arguing. The only explanation is if the referees thought that Bellerman had possession there, but then turned it over. But it'd be kind of hard to kind of hard to say that after all that that sequence that just happened. The post really quick. Trying to free up Davis to get it down low. How about Just that? Just like that. Nice Great call, friend. call by San Gerard coming out of the huddle right there. He knew what he had on the clock. He knew how to take advantage of that and exploit it. And that's what the Hounds did. Great play call by Coach. 49-40. Hounds in the lead. Under 13 to go now. Alex Cook 
Kicks it back out to Corbett. Cook again. Swings it over to Coles for three. No good off the front rim. Loose ball. Going to the Hounds. Davenport quickly took out Alex Cook there. Was not a fan of his play on that last play right there. Lawton. Hall for three. No good off the right side of the rim. Hall has not been hitting his outside shots the way he normally would. Been struggling a bit. This is Ben Ware. Gives it up to Coles. Coles can try to drive. Kicks it into the corner. Corbett. Nice close out there by Rod Davis. Three ball is good. Adam Eberhard, they just gave him too much space. He pulls it as soon as he gets the ball. Not even a breakdown, just they played off him too far. Lawton picks up screen, tries to drive, layup is Ooh. good. How about that drive from A.J. Lawton? That's a nice little play there. That's still move right there by A.J. Lawton. He's got 10. Ware. Feeds to Eberhard. Outside to Ware again for three. No good. Rebound picked up by Hardaway. Eight-point game. Lawton on the ball. Trying to shake Jarrett Coles. Kicks it back to Davis. Now Hardaway, nine to shoot. Moves to his left. Four to shoot. Etherington goes to the baseline. Long two. No good off the front rim. Rebound. Bach coming the other way. Bach going to try to take it all the way himself. He gets it blocked. C.J. Hardaway. No, no, no. C.J. Hardaway is not allowing that in his house tonight. Big block by Hardaway. It's an eight-point game. We'll step away for the under-12. This is UND men's basketball. For the Knights, 26 to shoot. Long inbound to Brent Bach. It's back to Ware. Corbett. Thought about pulling it. Hands it off to Weyer again instead. And now Eberhardt goes up, draws the foul. First free throw is good. Eberhard has 11 points now. Second free throw is good. Lawton, Dixon, spins down the baseline, going to go up, no good, but he's going to go to the free throw line. First free throw is good. Second one's no good off the back rim.
Not sure if any of you are out if any of you out there are DVRing that Michigan Purdue game. That final score just came in. Number three, Purdue knocking off number 25, Michigan. Ooh. Drive and the layup is good. It's a five point game here, 9.25 to go, second half. Dixon moves to his right. Trevor Lakes. His shot was no good, but rebounded by Tate Hall, and Hall gets fouled. Lakes wanted the three on the wing right there. Dix was passed just a little outside where he's hoping. Lakes still drove in, kicked it to Hall, who didn't drove the foul. Second foul on Eberhard. Free throw is good by Tate Hall. Hall's been dealing with some foul trouble tonight. Which is why he only has 10 points. Second free throw is good. In comes Etherington to replace Hall. 9 and 10 to go. It's a 7 point game. Greyhounds trying to hold off the number 5 team in the country. That's a nice play there by Hall and knocked the ball away. Couldn't keep it in bounds. It's Trevor Lakes that checked out of the game, by the way. Not Hall. It's Trevor Lakes who's been having foul trouble. Coles. Corbett, three ball, no good. Long rebound picked up by the Greyhounds. Nice little no look pass there. Swing the ball around the perimeter. Back to Etherington. Dixon the drive, layup, no good. But he's going to the free throw line. Just keeps working his way to the free throw line. Now both teams are in the bonus. This is a shooting foul, so Dixon's going to shoot two. Both teams in the bonus now. With 8.38 to go. So, something worth paying attention to. Doing the foul, doing the foul line, it's, it's doing, it's, it's testing that Knights depth. And so far, the bench points for the Knights, they've only scored five points coming off their bench. So, getting those guys in off the bench for UND, they're not going to, they're not going to hurt you like some teams would. So, uh, going forward, really going to the foul line, getting those guys in foul trouble is going to really help. Dixon goes one for two. He's made seven of ten tonight from the free throw line. So he's having a pretty productive night from the line. Not going to complain. At least I wouldn't think so. It's Alex Cook. They get back to Eberhard. He's to his right. That's going to be picked. Lawton picked his pocket. And then Tate Hall picked up the ball. He was oh, he just left his man behind and drives to the layup. AJ Lott. Up his laundry on the deck on that one. These are, here, these are these are roller skates. Put them on. On the other end, we have a miss. And now the Knights have the ball again. Oh, oh man. AJ Lawton. Lawton only has 12 points on the night. They've been a quiet 12, but he's been really productive in the other areas as well. Long two, no good. As the shot clock was expiring, the netball's going to be thrown into the scorer's table. Crowd here at Nickerson Hall. Pretty Pretty excited about there. It. Scott Davenport is not a fan of that. Bellarmine Knights. Still a lot of basketball left. Lawton gives to Hall. Hall once again top of key Lawton, and we got a whistle underneath. Dixon's fouled by Alex Cook. That's 
driving. And Alex Cook is fouled out of this ball game. Four points for Alex Cook. Four points, five rebounds. And he will take no further part in tonight's game. Devin Dixon misses the front end of the one and one. Three balls long. Here come the hounds oh, again. Down. Less than seven to go. Lawton feeds to Dixon. Splits the defense. Rips a pass down low to Dixon, who lays it in. That's a nice little play right there. Dixon. Oh, well, the hounds might try to slow it down there, but what do I know? I mean, they got they had the open look. When you see that when you see Devin Dixon sitting under the basket and you can get in the basketball. That's yeah. a pass to try to make. He just whipped it right under there. Big man took care of the rest. How about Devin Dixon? 17 points. Getting the start tonight in place of Jesse Kempson. Kempson, one of the team's best scorers. One of the top rebounders. Averaging 5.7 rebounds, 12.9 points a game. Devin Dixon comes in. He's like, don't worry about this, guys. I got this. He's played excellently tonight. 17 and 5. one point away from season high in points. Mavs have to imagine six and a half minutes to go, and the way they keep sending him to the free throw line, he's going to break that season high. Free throws good. 59 49. Indianapolis with 6.32 to go. I was going to go out of bounds. Last touch off of Lawton. Stan Gerard slightly confused. Where? To Bach. Ball fed down low. Mid-range pull is short. Loose ball underneath goes out over the baseline. It's going to stay down here. And the Knights will get a fresh shot clock. Coles. In the far corner to Parker Chitty. Cross court, Eberhard. Back to Chitty for three. No good off the front rim. Long rebound out to Lawton. And the Hounds are going to slow this down. Hounds up 10. Dixon in the low post. Loses his balance. Picks it back up. Feeds underneath. And Tate Hall is completely unguarded under the basket. That's easy. Nice vision by the big man to see Tate Hall and just whip it right down to him with the left hand. Not something Dixon's particularly known for. It's his first assist of the game. 61-49, the drive. Leib is blocked again. Nothing easy coming tonight for the Knights here. How about the Greyhounds defending the paint? Twelve to shoot. Weyer pulls for three. Buckets. Bellerman not going away like that. Weyer's got eight. Six from downtown. Five minutes to go. Hall. Swings to Lawton, who's going to try to drive. He's fouled on the way up. Substitutions being made. Devin Dixon's going to check out. 
after a particularly long stretch. Roderick Davis back in the game. So it's Davis, Hall, Hardaway, Etherington. And this is A.J. Lawton who's going to take the free throws for University of Indianapolis. Free throws no good. Second time the Hounds have missed the front end of the one and won this half. Jarrett Coles gives it to Weyer. He's going to try to drive. That's a nice feed underneath the, and the kick out for three from Eberhard to Bach. And it's a six-point game. And now the Bellerman contingency. Bellerman wasn't going to go easy. We got ourselves a game here. Six-point game. Davis. Lawton, cross court, Etherington, three. Count it. Count it. Alex Etherington picked a really helpful time to make that three his first bucket of the game. 64 55, cross court. Three ball on the other end, put it back. Buck to buck threes. Be interesting to see if we're getting a little bit of a shootout here. I'm game. Let's see it. This is good basketball. I think the Hounds will take a shootout, too. Nice shooting 10 and 31 tonight from three. Compared to UND, 6 of 11. I think they'd take a shootout just based off Bellerman's percentages. All the drive, no good. Loose ball rebounded coming the other way as C.J. Fleming gives it to Eberhard. Bach driving. Layup is good. How about Brent Bach? Stan Gerard wants to talk. The Hounds trying to shake up the conference. A win tonight would go a long way to solidify their spot in the conference tournament. They got three minutes left to get this done. Devin Dixon. Hand off to Lawton. Crossover. Kicks over to Etherington for three. Yes! yes. Another. That's, you like to see your senior step up in crunch time like this. Big shot right there for Alex Etherington. That's two big threes for Etherington. Past couple of minutes, seven-point game. Brent Bach tries to drive. He's got ten points. The last ten points, I should say, that the Knights have scored. They've all been Brent Bach. Lawton. Puts the ball on the floor. That's a turnover. We're going to get a jump ball. What are we? Nope. AJ thought, Lawton thought he got fouled there, but refs are letting him play at the end of this one. That's what you like to see, though. As well. So here we go. This is Bach running the point. 2.13 to go. Moving to his right, gives it up to Weyer, pulls the three. No good off the back rim. Long rebound out to Eberhard. Bach on the ball again, wants the long three himself. No good. Rebound, Dixon. Dixon to Lawton. It's Dixon, Lawton, Hall, Etherington, Davidson on the floor for UND. Lawton. Etherington. Going to try to slow this down. 13 to shoot over the top. Dixon open in the paint. The layup, no good. Eberhard the rebound. The kick into the corner, and they're going to set it up again. The drive from Bach. Layup, good. Number 30. Let him come up in big, another big situation like this. Alex Etherington's had another nice game coming off the bench, hitting a couple threes here late in this half. So between those two, let A.J. Lawton kind of facilitate the offense, and get those guys in the sp spots and let them do their thing. I think you got a couple of good options right there if you're a Stan Gerard. Like you said, those seniors coming up in big moments. It would make sense. Davidson over to Lawton. Now Tate Hall, 13 to shoot. Trying to set something up. Throws it over to Lawton. Back to Hall. Pulls for three. Yes! Money! Why go to a senior and go to a sophomore, I guess? Tate Hall's been relatively quiet tonight. He leads the team in scoring. Over the course of the season, he's had three straight 20-point games, 20-point-plus games. The drive by Coles, and he's fouled. 
The Hounds 45.3 seconds away from pulling off a very big upset. If they can hold on, they lead by six. And the Knights go to the free throw line to shoot 1-1. One, one. These next 45 seconds aren't going to come easy, though, if you're Uendi. Coaching staff on the bench pumping up the crowd. Got a little bit of noise going here in Nixon Hall. Stan Gerard got his guys in a huddle to draw something up. Not sure what the holdup is on the floor. Looks like some kind of equipment thing going on for Jarrett Coles. Getting his leg taped up. Maybe he got a cut and needs to get it covered. In any get, case. Him get him taped up. San Gerard used this little break here. So timeout's kind of draw something up for his team. Nice veteran move there by Coach G. Stan Gerard and his coaching staff wearing the street shoes today. Their way of appreciating the coaches versus cancer movement from Division One, Copying it themselves. Free throw, one and one, is good. Jarrett Coles, the junior from Omaha, Nebraska. It's a big free throw there. We got one more coming. Parker Chitty getting ready to check in. Second free throw is also good. Chitty will enter the game for Ben Weyer. Four-point game, 45.3 to go. Man-to-man -man press. Lawton gets out of the double team, throws it over to Tate Hall. Hall into the corner to Etherington. Back to Lawton. Davidson, 16 to shoot, holding on to the ball. Now they're going to foul. Not sure why they waited so long. I think they thought they might get the foul going the other way. It's not a bad idea to send the guy, send the guy to the line who shoots 92 and a half percent from the yeah, this charity is, stripe. This is exactly the guy you do not want on the free throw line. AJ Lawton knew exactly what he's doing when he passed the ball to Eric Davidson right there. Now Davidson going to the line. Davidson is one of the best free throw shooters in the country. First free throw is good. The Indianapolis Greyhounds, 29.4 seconds away from knocking off the number five team in Division II if they can hold on. Second free throw by Davidson is good. Six-point game. This is Bach. Tries to drive. Layup is good. How about Brett Bach? In this Davidson was running up the half. court. Davidson had a clear lane down the side of the court right here. Tate Hall just didn't see him. He had his hand up and everything. He would have been all the way to the basket. As it is, probably would have ran off the clock, honestly. But AJ, AJ Lawton is going to go to the free throw line. He's an 82.9% free throw shooter, so Hounds can't be too upset about how that worked out. This is why it's so important to make your free throws. Practice your free throws, kids. The free throws are one of the reasons the Hounds lead in this game in the first place. Made 18 23 tonight. First free throw is good. All the free throws are important. Not just the end of game ones. The end of game ones are just the hardest to make. Yeah, and you just saw the Bellman, Bellman player come down here and make two free throws with the place really, really loud. Didn't phase him at all. Lawton makes them both. Here we go. 22 seconds. Coles. Bach pulls the long three. No good off the back rim. Rebound ever. Bach. Number three. In and out. Rebound Hardaway. And Hardaway's going to be fouled. Everhard missed. Bach missed. The Hounds got the board. And they are less than eight seconds away from pulling off a huge upset. First free throw is good. It's a three-possession game. 
7.8 seconds to go. The Indianapolis Greyhounds about to pull off a huge win in conference over the number five team in the nation. Second free throw is also good. Parker Chitty tries to hand it off. No dice. C.J. Harley's going to run it out. And that's going to do it. it. Indianapolis 76. Bellerman 68. 